Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we'll write a python program to find out the largest number in given two numbers. So the input of this program is we need to take two numbers and the output of this program is we need to find out the largest number. For example, if I take two numbers as 10 and 20, so I need to get the output as largest number is 20. Now how to find out the largest number in the given two number? To do that we need to compare the two numbers and we can use the greater than or less than symbol to compare the two numbers and to find out which number is greater. So that is like this. If I want to compare 10 and 20 I'll just check like this whether 10 is greater than 20. So it will give false because 10 is not greater than 20 right. If I write 10 is smaller than 20. Yes, it is true, right? Using greater than and less than symbol, we can find out whether the number is greater than or smaller than the another number. It will give true or false. Now to write the program, we need if else conditional statement. This greater than and less than symbol just tell us whether the given condition is true or false, right? If the condition is true, what we need to do? If condition is false, what we need to do? To do that, we need if else conditional statement. So in the python file, first we need to take the input from the user. We need two numbers. So to take the input from the user, we'll use input function. And to store the input, I'll use the variable name as n1. So enter the first number. Here I'm using python3 and in python3 by default, this input function will take input as the string value. But here we want to compare the numbers, right? Int number or float number. So that's why I'll convert this input to integer using int function. If you want to convert it to float, you can use float function. Next, I need second input. We need two inputs, right? So I'll copy and paste this and I'll take variable name as n2 and I'll ask the user to enter the second number. So this is about the input. We'll ask the user to enter the first number and second number and we'll store that in n1 and n2. Now we need to check for the largest number. So to do that, we are using the if else conditional statement. So first I'll take if and I'll check whether n1 is greater than n2. The first entered number is greater than n2. If s, yes, if this condition is true that means n1 is the largest number right so just print that if not if this condition is false as i said when i use greater than symbol or less than symbol it will give true or false right so when it is true it will print this message if it is false then we need to execute the else part and we need to print n2 is the largest number. So here we are checking whether n1 is greater than n2, right? If yes, then that means n1 is the largest number. If not, n2 is the largest number, right? So now let's execute this program. Enter the first numbers. I'll enter the first number as 10. I'll enter the second number as 20. So 20 is the largest number. 2 is the largest number. So in this way, you can write the Python program to find out the largest number in the given two numbers. So next, let's see how this program works. So first, the execution will begin from here, n1. It will ask the user to enter a number. So I'll enter number as 10. Next, it will ask the second number, that is 20. So here, n1 becomes 10 and n2 becomes 20. Next, it will execute the next statement that is this, if n1 is greater than n2. Here, n1 is nothing but 10 is greater than 20. n2 is 20. It is true or false? Of course, it is false, right? This condition become false. It won't execute this if body. It will go to the else part and it will print this message. 20 is the largest number. Now, if I enter n1 as 2 and n 2 as 1. Next it will compare here 2 is greater than 1. Yes, it is true. This condition becomes true. So it will execute this n1 that is nothing but 2 is the largest number. It will print that message 
because this condition become true it will ignore the else part it won't execute the else part okay so in this way this program works so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care